Hmm, got a bit close with the uh, hot stuff here. No problem, just a minor glitch. Everything's under control. Nothing to worry about. Carry on. <laughs> you see, that's why you wear leather gloves. It's not so you don't burn your hands. It's to put out the flames when everything catches fire. <laughs> Take note. Right, while I was out, I did a second lot in some tube which I would normally use but you know that's what I'll try just see how it goes and while things are hot it's cooled down a lot and now it's cooled down you know it's solidified we'll stick it in some water just to speed things up a bit I should, I should use a steel bucket but my steel bucket you being used for something else Only do this once it's sure that everything's solid. Never ever put hot aluminium that's liquid near water. This is quite safe. You can see how it's coming out. Oh, look, nice finish. See, that's why you pre always preheat the mould. Always preheat it and you get a nice pour and it won't chill too quick. It'll, it'll cool down sl slowly and you get a beautiful finish like that. That's how it should look. And it will just slide out of the... It will just slide out of the tube because aluminium will always shrink more than, than steel. But you must have a, a piece of tube or something that is perfectly cylindrical and hasn't got any marks inside it. And that's why the compressor, the old compressor barrel, should work okay. I'll hook this out. Look at that. <laughs> it's even got another three on the bottom. That's a pretty good pour. That, that, that should be absolutely perfect. You can always tell looking at it. If it looks rough on the outside, there's a good chance it's going to be pinholes in the inside, but that would be absolutely perfect, that one. So now I'll do the other one. The barrel. She is. Look, she's ready to come out. Yep, she's ready to come out. Now we'll just tip it over. Now we'll just tip it over. Look at that. Out she comes as easy as that. That's why, you know, I always do it this way. It never fails, but you must have something perfectly, perfectly cylindrical, and that's a good example of something that I was going to throw in the uh, in the scrap bin and here's the aluminium that should be pretty good too well I had to do this inside today because it was wet uh, it's not ideal actually doing it on concrete floor you should do it on sand so I actually poured it on a a sand bed in the tray and uh, also the sand will stop any aluminium running out the base of your tube so as long as you've got a, a bed of sand and you make sure you don't get any molten aluminium anywhere else you'll be okay so there you go it's as easy as that just come out of that just come out of that which is the roller, the tube they use for the ro one of the rollers on the old treadmill. Once again, it's all junk, but it's all useful. It doesn't have a seam inside. You definitely want a tube that's got no seam in it, or it won't come out. It's got to be perfectly cylindrical. And this is good quality stuff. And of course, this is perfectly cylindrical. And uh, yeah, 
you can use a stationary engine barrel and yeah anybody can do it just take safety precautions always wear face shields cover up you don't want any mess yeah don't want any aluminium hitting you splattering you and never ever let hot aluminium get well molten aluminium get anywhere near water or moisture okay always make sure it's totally dry environment when you're working with it quenching it in water after you're sure it's, it's cooled down you know give it 10 minutes at least and that'll be okay but certainly never ever put it straight into water if it's just been poured okay hope you found interesting see you next time cheers